tonight is that um, in a couple of minutes' time, I will be asking His Excellency the Ambassador to come and say a few words. Um, and then I'll be asking the filmmaker, uh, William, to come and introduce his film. Just one thing that I was alerted to today uh, by William, and that is that, um, uh, Mr. Ambassador, your name coincides with Prince Vittor, whom in the 14th century welcomed the very first wave of uh, Muslim Tatars to Poland. So uh, indeed it is uh, more than just a happy coincidence. Um, without further ado, I'd like to ask His Excellency to come and say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, good evening uh, and welcome to the Polish Embassy. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I'm delighted that uh, today we can uh, screen this uh, film Muslims in Poland. It's, it's a great event here, so I uh, did not hesitate even for a moment when, when I, when I um, saw the email and the information about the film uh, that we should uh, show it in, at our embassy almost immediately, as, 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 as fast as we could. So thank you for this initiative, I'm very grateful that we can do this. But let me, let me start by, by, by saying that I'm a great believer in the peaceful coexistence uh, of religions. Also because I wanted to fight ignorance and prejudices and stereotypes. Islam is a tolerant, peaceful religion, not a threat. Islam can bring new blood to Western civilization. Let me just mention the focus on justice, the virtue of compassion, and the quality of solidarity. Islam may be a challenge for the West for one reason. Islamic perspectives are not restricted to national or regional boundaries, as the Islamic Ummah is a universal community. We should do our best to fight Islamophobia. As we know, the word refers to dread or hatred of Islam, and therefore to fear and dislike of all or most Muslims. The corrosive effect of Islamophobia on interpersonal community and international relations should be recognized as unacceptable and not tolerated. We need more respect. We have to recognize that Islam represents a rich and high culture and has a message of humanity. I would like to extend my words of appreciation to the Cordova Foundation for their initiative, innovative approach and clear vision of the work they have been carrying out since 2005. The Foundation's objectives are relevant in the times that we have come to live, and I hope that by means of systematic and strategic steps, we can ensure progress in securing a peaceful and respectful coexistence of cultures, ideas and peoples. The lives and experiences of Muslims in Poland is in many ways an unknown territory to many of people, and I am very pleased that we are able to take a step forward by means of this evening's screen. I would like to thank Mr. William Barewa for all his efforts in bringing this part of Poland closer to us and congratulate him on this special endeavor. Let me thank you all for joining us this evening. I wish you all the best and for this special time of the Ramadan, especially now. Thank you very much. Imagine a community being in a situation of extreme minority but living in harmony with society and keeping its religious and cultural differences. But the real danger is to being tempted to remain insular, asking for services or keeping contact only with people from the same background. And this at a time that more than ever we have to curb hatred against minorities. We have to engage into dialogue, into action. And regarding this, in Poland, there are some role models. They may have quite no mosques, quite no halal shops, quite no madrasas, and a limited access to knowledge. But still, when you are looking to some mosque, like in Poznan, in Wrocław, when you're looking at some organizations like Duna Institute Dialogue, or this group of young women, Alekumki, what do they do? All the year, they're organizing events, conferences, lectures, open days. They're inviting Jews, Christians, politicians. They are active in the media. They are giving their time, giving their energy. They are giving, even if it's a rose flower to people passing by in the street. This is fantastic. And I am convinced 
that we all have from our differences something great to give and to share with the others. I really hope that we could learn to understand rather than to judge, to question rather than to condemn, and to listen to the other more than we talk. All is about understanding that the human being is a whole of diverse identities. So at the end of the day, I think the big question is, what will we do for ensuring harmony? And I think that God and people in general are waiting for answers, not only with words, but more with actions. Thank you very much. It expresses a very important perspective on a community which many are unaware of and it's very important as a European to know that there is a thriving Muslim community in Poland which is respected and which is very um, engaged with Polish life. It's actually an integral part of the Polish narrative. Uh, I think uh, uh, I think the film uh, film was very beautiful, first of all, and very very interesting. But uh, I, but I think the film is real eye opener, um, showing that uh, communities can exist together, which uh, can be uh, something we can learn. Uh, from whatever part of the world we are from. Uh, I think the film itself uh, is amazing uh, judging by uh, the interesting conversation in, uh, generated after. It's a fantastic movie. We all learned a lot. Even people from Poland learned a lot. Uh, and I think um, it is a fantastic movie because uh, it shows uh, the life of the Muslim community in Poland, but it's also very objective. You show positive sides and you show negative sides, and, and, and of course there are both of them. But uh, the picture that you paint, the uh, kind of uh, uh, the start of the revival of, 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 of the Muslim life in Poland and those different communities that we have in Poland, the Tatar community and the migrants, this is very interesting um, uh, to show. And uh, let, let me just hope that uh, the Muslim community, that the life of the Muslim community uh, will develop in Poland in the atmosphere of t tolerance, und uh, understanding um, and, uh, and good, uh, good relationships with uh, people from different religions. I love the film, uh, partly because it is very particular. And I think uh, so often there are big generalizations about Europe. I work uh, as part of a European network and uh, big generalizations about Europe, generalizations about Islam, generalizations about all sorts of things. But this film shows how important the particular is. But it was a charming film and it didn't, it didn't go too fast for someone like me who doesn't know very much about Poland and doesn't know a huge amount about uh, Islam or anything else. It, it, it took me through um, th that story very, very easily. Um, and, it, and the colors I thought were lovely and it will, it will stay with me, I think. I thought it was a wonderful film for opening up a window into a country and a context that I don't know very much about. If anything, it made me want to know a lot more. And so I hope that you're going to do a sequel to this movie.